this is Dave, and today we're going to repair this chair. The vinyl chair here, the vinyl is starting to peel off into these little flakes, um, but the chair itself is still in pretty good shape. So what we've got is these uh, adhesive leather repair patches. I don't know if they're actually leather or not, but it's a repair patch for leather. And we've already done it on the arm and the seat here. It seems to work pretty good. Uh, it's just a peel and stick kind of thing. So we're going to fix this armrest here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take the old the armrest off. This chair has a couple screws here. Your chair may, may differ depending on what you, kind of chair you got. And then it comes off. It comes in a big roll. Um, we're going to measure and see what size we need. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of cut it for length. I've already cut this one for length because it was the, what I used on the other side, but basically you want to make it so it's long enough that it wrap around the, the ends so it'll be underneath so when you bolt it down it'll be tight. And then we need to measure the width, kind of the same thing, just long enough to wrap around. So I probably want to cut it for width right about in here somewhere. Because of the way I'm just going to wrap it around and hide the edges underneath doesn't have to be perfect on the cutting. And so we'll just cut it. And then we're going to peel off the back. center the armrest pretty close on the on it and we can start pushing it down this gets the main parts down and then we'll roll up the sides a little bit just to try and get everything you want to look at the other side make sure it's kind of flat you can just keep working it around. When you get to the ends, because it's rounded, I'm going to cut little notches in it. will allow me to kind of fold it, fold it over. Wrap it over, I'll just keep kind of working my way around. And you just kind of stretch it and work it around. There you go. Kind of covered the hole here where the bolt goes in, so I'm just going to trim a little bit of the excess off. And then just kind of go around and smooth it out, make it look as look nice. Make sure it's pushed down. 
Now we're ready to bolt it back on. We can bolt it back in again using the same bolts that it came up with. Now we've covered both armrests and the seat. This appears to be a good solution for the flaking vinyl problem that we had. The chair was still good. No use throwing it away when you can just cover it like this. The color's a little different, but for our purposes, that's fine. You need to let it set for 24 hours before you use it so the adhesive will completely stick. And uh, I think it'll be good for us. If you found this video helpful, please uh, click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.